here and you don't want a bunch of crazy angles you want to try and get everything nice and straight and lined up as you can so that uh, you're nice and accurate when you're doing this so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check my valve lift uh, with that set up and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my dial, uh, not my dial indicator, sorry, and uh, use my degree wheel and um, this will tell me where the closest points are for my valves and um, if you're on the intake side your closest points to your piston to valve clearance on the intake valve is going to be 10 degrees after top dead center somewhere between uh, 0 and 10 normally so you'll have to go every couple degrees check it couple degrees and check it I've already checked this I'm gonna just go over it and show you how to do that and your exhaust valve is gonna be between 0 and 10 degrees before top dead center so that's gonna be on this side to check your exhaust valve clearance so that'll be the the proper way to check that and make sure you're going in the rotation of the engine you know to make sure um, you get that slack out of the timing chain etc so uh, I'll just show you the intake side and you'll do the exact same thing for the exhaust side um, measurements minimums that you want for that is 80 thousandths minimum for our street cars what general consensus uh, for the intake valve and minimum of a hundred thousandths on the exhaust valve so that's what we're looking we want more than that for something street driven uh, that's uh, not going to be just total competition engine so we're going to get this in there and I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the engine and we're going to check total valve lift all right so I've got it zeroed out uh, there's no lift on it right now so I'm just turning the engine right now and there we go it's starting to hit the clearance ramp and there's 100 200 300 400 500 600 and there it is it's topped out right there 630 three thousandths right on the nose for our lift on the intake valve so that is our lift so you want to make sure that down here you know you're measuring off from a flat spot and that's parallel with it or else it's going to be possibly if it's not perfectly flat your retainer you know you're going to get an inaccurate measurement I've measured this a ton of times I I check and check and recheck all of my measurements and all the clearances and stuff like that in my engines because I want this thing to last I don't want it to have problems I want it to be a good solid uh, reliable foundation that I can use so now we're going to go ahead and back that up there it is and now I'm gonna go forward And get that thing all the way we're gonna go all the way so that it's closed closest point is when it just starts to open at that zero to ten all right now we're getting close and on my engine and you can just kind of tap the ratchet and move it on my engine um, this here one when I checked it with this cam and where it's set it's uh, right at 10 degrees after is the closest point on this engine so now now that we've got this at the closest point now we can zero this out and now we can just I see I've got my checking springs in here I'm sorry if I didn't mention that <laughs> so now we can just lift it until it hits the piston so oh there we go all right 100 
and 11 thousandths. So I have 111 thousandths of clearance. Here, I'll check it again. 111. There it is. So touchy these things. All right. So 111 thousandths on our intake valve. 80 thousandths is, is our minimum that we need to have. So we are okay. Um, next thing we need to do, of course, check our exhaust valve, check our clearance on that. I already did that. I've got a ton on the exhaust valve. I've got like 210 thousandths on that side. So we're good there. Plenty clearance. Uh, another thing, remember our radio clearance in the valve pocket. You need to have uh, 50 thousandths minimum radial clearance and you're going to have to put clay inside your piston in order to do that. And then you can also check your clearances with that, you know, double check where it hits and all that. So I can show you how to do that. So now that you know how to do this, we'll move on to the next part. All right, in the last section here, we're going to put modeling clay or Play-Doh, whatever you have. Uh, into our number one uh, piston, into our valve reliefs. Um, you want to have a utility knife, uh, some kind of lubricant so the thing doesn't stick to the piston forever, <laughs> and a caliper. So, first thing, I'm going to hose this thing down. There we go. And I'm going to take my modeling clay and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the piston. And uh, you don't need a ton of it. This is actually more than I need, but it'll work fine. Okay, now that we've got that in place, now we want to take our cylinder head and we want to put that on. Put some bolts in it, of course. I usually go with about four just to make sure it's it's uh, down pretty good. And just snug those bolts down. It and just give it just a little bit. Okay, and yeah, I'm not going to be using these gaskets, uh, just so you know, but they are almost like the same exact compressed thickness and the same thickness now as what I'm going to use, so that's important to note. Um, of course, we're going to take our push rod and get that into place and a proper rocker arm with offset ratio for this side, for me anyway. And put our poly lock on that and, and then we will rotate the engine here in just a second. And we want to make sure that 
the valve is all the way on the bottom side of the lobe and there's no slack here. So yep, it looks good. So then I'll usually just go oh about two full rotations. Two full cycles I should say. Alright. I'll take that off. I'll get the exhaust valve down. There it is. Alright, now we can switch here. Oh. There it is. And then we'll take our rocker arm for that side, which is center cup, and our push rod. And I've measured push rods on this already, and it looks like I'm going to need 8.450 push rods for it. Um, those, yeah, they have been ordered, so I'm currently waiting for those. So that's, that's one thing that we are waiting on right now. Not sure where that wants to be on me. There it is. Just didn't want to get started. All right, make sure you got all the slack out of it. And go ahead and two full cycles here. There we go. And now we can take that all off and we can look at the imprints and uh, we, can, that we can also look at our clearances for our valve impressions but one of the things we really want to look for now also is that radial valve clearance that we got to make sure that we have enough clearance between uh, the outside of the valve and a valve relief on our piston Check, check, and double check if you don't want to break something. <laughs> it's a whole lot cheaper to check, check, and check again than for it to let go or end up, you know, a valve kissing a piston or something else, which <laughs> would be extremely bad. So don't let it happen to you. It has not happened to me, uh, and I hope I never do have that happen. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Getting there. And one last one. I never trust a head. Never trust a head. Never had one fall off, but man, that would sure suck if it did. All right, take our head off. Just gonna set that right over here, out of the way. Okay. Now we can see that that exhaust valve ton of room, like I was just telling you earlier, and our intake valve, well, we know it's kind of getting close. So you want to find the center point of where that valve touches and just cut that out right there. It's only modeling clay, so you don't got to put much pressure in it. All right. Well, this one's gonna gonna fight me, but as long as you got one good side at least. 
I have checked this already. So uh, I kind of know. Okay. Now I'm going to get you guys in there so you can see the side view of this. Uh, there. See that? Now you can go ahead and you can take your caliper. I don't need to because I've got a ton here. Well, you can go in there and just kind of get an idea how much is there. That's 128. You know, and you can just go ahead and feel all the way around in there. You know, this way. So, a ton. Plenty. Something I've already done, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. And obviously over here, I mean, we've got a bunch of clearance. You can see where that step is. See that? And then this way. We know there's a lot there, but you can see where that is. A lot. So, all right. So, this concludes the video. So, if you guys just wanted to, to brush up on it or to learn how to check those clearances, we just went over it. So, now you know. All right, guys, remember to hit that like, share, subscribe, keep racing, keep building, keep having fun. We'll see you guys next time.